Let's use NitroBomb to automatically compute cost summaries from a Creo bill of materials into Excel using Power Query. To do this, we need to extract the bill of materials from Creo using NitroBomb, and that'll create the required tables and connections to Power Query so that the data can be used and analyzed in different ways. We're going to import some data from uh, an external system in the form of cost data and then do a merge on that data to produce the final report of the cost summary. The beauty about this is the next time we make a change or update the bill of materials, all that data will automatically be recomputed for us automatically. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to take the uh, bill of materials that's out of Creo and write it to a just brand new Excel document. So we're going to use NitroBomb to just create the document. There's nothing special about this. Um, it's just a standard Excel document. But when we write these reports out, it's going to write each of the bill of material structure reports that NitroBomb generates. And it's also going to create them as tables. And each of these tables is also loaded into the Excel data model. If we go up and say, look at queries and connections, it automatically created the connections so that we can actually start to merge and append this data with other data if we want to. So let's load in our um, ERP data, which is uh, some item cost data, which is in a CSV file. This could be a database direct connection also. And it's just giving us a little preview. And instead of loading it into the sheet, we're going to load it as a connection. Uh, this just puts it into the data model, doesn't force the uh, uh, display of the information. It's just available as a reference. And now we're going to merge this data uh, with our total components. So we select our item costs, our total components, the columns that are relevant between them, which is like the item name or the part number. And uh, now we're in Power Query. So we're just going to expand uh, some of our source data out for the cost data, select a few of the columns that we really care about, care about for our report. Um, let's rename this uh, cost as unit cost. And as a final step, we're going to add a new column um, between this data and we're just going to call this extended cost and we're simply just going to take the quantity column multiply it by the unit cost say okay and uh, then we're just going to name this cost summary so when we save this or exit the query editor it's going to say what do you want to do with it and in this case it's going to load it to a new spreadsheet for us um, and once we've loaded this in we can actually just uh, basic, do some basic formatting so uh, we're just cleaning this up and this will actually preserve so if, if the data changes this will just kind of redisplay and update automatically so let's go back to creo and let's alter the bill of materials so in this case we're just going to add in a few more components just to kind of create some structural differences and once we have uh, a few more components added here we're just going to re-export the report to this worksheet now, um, this is just re-exporting the ports to the same tables. Because that data model and Power Query is already set up, it's going to automatically compute the new summary for us. Isn't that cool? Thanks for watching. We hope this inspires you to use NitroBomb in new and creative ways, and we look forward to your business. Please visit us at simplifiedlogic.com.